All right, and we are live. Hello, everyone. Good evening. There we go. Hello. Please tell us your name and your city. Always a good place to start. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, I know we have actually I see zero now. I guess people are joining at the moment, or it takes a second to update. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Hi, everyone. Um, welcome. I know that uh, some of you guys are joining us from other cities, maybe some of you from other countries as well. Uh, so Kyle and I will introduce ourselves first. Uh, so I'm Chago. Uh, maybe you can see my name under my screen, but if you can't, this is how you spell that. Um, now, this is definitely not an English name. Uh, it's Portuguese. Uh, I am originally from Brazil. Uh, but I partly grew up in California, um, and I've been in Milan at Mayes for about four and a half years now, I would say. Uh, hi, Katerina. Welcome. And all right, that's it. Kahal, if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, it's me. Uh, uh, my name is Kahal. Uh, another maybe interesting name that uh, you might not have heard before. I'm from Ireland. Uh, and like Chago, I'm a, a teacher in Milano Meraviglia. Um, I'm not quite as experienced as Chago is, though. I'm a, <laughs> I'm only of the one year, uh, just over one year. I've been in in, in Meraviglia, so uh, excited, happy, happy to be there. I guess. <laughs> yeah. And, the interesting uh, thing, Kahal, about our names is that uh, even though both have the th, but they're not pronounced th in any case. Yeah. Because exactly. I remember, like uh, you know, being in school. Oh man, I hated like. Tiago, I'm like, oh god. Tiago. Tiago is fine. Like the Italians say Tiago. That one I don't mind. But Tiago just oh that one kills it for me. <laughs> it's like you're not even trying. <laughs> yeah. Like you probably get Catal. Catal all the time. Oh yeah. Cathal, maybe sometimes. Cathal. People get the idea they think I'm like Arabian or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi Viviana. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So I think Katerina actually was just in my previous um, webinar with Seth. So welcome back, Katerina. Oh, really great. You uh, decided to, to come, come forward with us. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, guys, just remember, we have these uh, webinars at every hour now. Uh, so, and there is no limit. You know, you can do all of them if you want. So um, really nice to see you guys joining us. So, and where are you guys from? So, Katerina, Viviana, are, what, what's your city? Are you guys from Milan or other places? Yeah, tell us and that. Kahal, uh, how are you doing? Uh, so, now it's, what, almost the end of week three of our... I guess you've worked a little bit the first couple of weeks, right? Because you were at school. Yeah, so I, I was kind of keeping busy uh, in school for the first while. So um, I, will, I haven't been too bad. Um, I don't know what the next step up from cabin fever is, but I'm very, very close <laughs> to whatever that step is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying these webinars. I actually think they're they're quite they're quite fun and, and interesting. To yeah, me too. Like now that I've gotten used to them, it was definitely a bit of an adjustment at first. Definitely mm -hmm. a lot of talking. Because uh, at school, we're so used to listening, you know, but now it's a, it's a bit of a different setup. But yeah. it's definitely nice, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And you can kind of, you can tell what teachers like to talk more, uh, certainly by who's more comfortable doing it. For example, like, <laughs> exactly. I know uh, Liam, Liam, myself, and Lisa have taken to this like ducks to water. <laughs> Just yes. like really enjoying it. Good. Um, well, wait, Katerina, she has a, an interesting question here. Um, what is the difference between to plan and to hunt? Um, mm. Well, they're quite different. Uh, now, hunt has two meanings. Uh, literally to hunt would basically, you know, if you go in the woods and you kind of shoot and kill animals, uh, that's to hunt. But it can also mean, as you said, Katerina, to search. If I'm searching for an apartment especially, uh, apartment hunting, yeah. Uh, but whereas to plan, yeah, as you said, to plan a holiday, to um, kind of organize the holiday, to decide which hotel you're going to be staying at, uh, the activities, etc. So nice. Mm -hmm. We got also got uh, Nancy 
joining us from Bergamo, the neighbors, Iviana from Milan. Wonderful Very guys, good. welcome. All right. So uh, today we will be talking about planning a holiday, which is something that none of us can do at the moment. Well, maybe you can plan, <laughs> but for the far future. Uh, I actually just got an email from uh, EasyJet yesterday about my flight being canceled, oh, which no. I was happy about because I thought they weren't going to cancel it, but then I couldn't leave. And so I, I thought I was going to lose the money. But it's oh, actually okay. a good thing they decided okay. to cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great. What about you guys? Uh, do you have any holidays that you planned that are now canceled because yeah. of the, the restrictions? Or if you have holidays in the future that are not canceled? Uh, do you so have anything, have Cal? Uh, for me, no. Although my, um, my parents uh, were planning to come visit uh, me uh, today. They were supposed to arrive today. However, they uh, uh, their flight was cancelled, obviously. Um, ah, good. Because, they were able uh, to get a refund. Exactly, yeah. So they're just going to keep that money aside, aside for the, the next time they want to come over. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I was actually quite happy as well because the flight I had bought was quite expensive. It was above average in terms of prices. So mm. it's nice. So I got the reimbursement. I might be able to find a cheaper one in the future. Nice, nice. So nice, guys. So, um, all right. As we dream about future holidays, we can uh, <laughs> we'll be talking about some of the skills uh, to to plan this holiday. So, all right. um, we will be talking about futures on this focus, um, especially going to. But Kyle and I will help you guys understand all the differences between them, uh, ideas um, for holidays, how to propose um, ideas and to plan kind of the details and information about that as well. Uh, Kyle, what was, the, what was your last holiday? Where did you go so last time? My last holiday, that's a good question. God, I can remember. <laughs> um, my last holiday, I guess, was to the south of Ireland. Um, so last summer, um, I went home. And uh, my family and I went down to the south of Ireland uh, for two weeks just to spend time away from the house and uh, enjoy the nature, I guess, in the south of Ireland. What about you? Great. Me, um, I think it was back in January, I went to Edinburgh. So I went to Scotland. It was my first time there. Very nice place. Um, yeah. I mean, of course, at that time of year, the, the weather wasn't the best, but... Uh, it wasn't too cold, actually. Uh, it was not rainy. So, you know, all in all, I think I, I was actually pretty lucky. But mm -hmm. really lovely city. Uh, had a great time there. Uh, yeah. And Viviana actually had a holiday. Uh, she, she planned a holiday at the end of March, but due to the COVID-19, she cannot go there. Oh, I'm sorry, Viviana. Mm -hmm. Where were you planning to go? Where was your holiday? Yeah. And Nancy, she would visit... Rome, and I hope to go soon. Cool. Mm, nice. nice, folks. All right, and let us know if you have any other holiday plans. I was. Uh, I appreciate your pronunciation there, Chago, of um, the Gaelic city of Edinburgh, because a lot of the time people uh, generally just say Edinburgh or something oh, the, like that. Yeah, that was definitely something I learned recently. I always thought it was Edinburgh. You know, because oh, you know, yeah. in the U.S. there's like yeah, Pittsburgh. So I always thought it yeah. was the the Berg, exactly. The Berg. But yeah, no, it's a kind of because it's a, a Gaelic name. The city is like it's a Gaelic name, so the ah, Gaelic that's language. Where, that's where it comes. G H S T H S anything. That's why my my name T H is not pronounced. So Edinburgh uh, uh, T H is not pronounced. Cool. Very nice. Oh, uh, we go. Katerina has a comment for us. So uh, my sisters lived for one year in Berlin, a great city. Uh, I planned a holiday there last month, last, or it would say so last month or a month ago. So I would just choose one. All right, Katerina. Mm, but because of what's happening, maybe better, I can't go. And so she's there alone. Oh, mm, that's a pity. Yeah. Then we have Viviana, who's going to um, Spain on a boat tour in the summer. You hope, yeah. We'll see like how far 
his restrictions will last. Um, just one small correction. Yeah, oh, perfect. I'll got to it. Very nice. Yeah, perfect. Go to, yeah, go to Spain. Uh, in English, every time we have movement, to. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. All right. Okay. Um, so we have a few questions here. Uh, and it would be awesome if you guys could help us form the questions. Uh, so they are not mm. complete. Uh, remember that in English, when we're asking a question, we usually use the, the we we'll use the quasi, but I use the quasva because it's not always infinitive necessarily. Uh, so the yeah. question, auxiliary, subject, and verb if you have a verb. So if you look at questions one to five, guys, um, how do we ask those questions? Here, I'll ask Kahal one of them uh, just to practice. So Kahal, what, what, uh, oh, sorry, I do this in the present, perfect. Uh, what has been, <laughs> or I'll say, what is, <laughs> what was, let's keep it simple. What was yeah. your best holiday? Uh, okay, so my best holiday was uh, probably my holiday to New York. Yeah, so why would I, that I, So it was the best because uh, I had never been to New York before. I'd never visited before. Um, it was my first time properly visiting America as well. Um, and... I really enjoyed the city and the musicals. I went to see so many shows. <laughs> um, I went to see uh, a basketball game. I just, my week was so uh, packed with, with things that I was doing. <laughs> you got a full New York experience. Oh, yeah. Cool. cool. Absolutely. Really nice. Uh, yeah, guys, feel free. If you, um, if you want to try to form the question for any of those, uh, just go ahead and try. You know, if you make a mistake, that's what we're here for. So really don't be shy. Uh, here, Kyle, yes. if you want to ask me one of the five. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess I'll, I'll ask you the same one. What was, sure. uh, what was your, your best holiday ever? What was your best holiday? Hmm. Now, I would say that a few summers ago, uh, before I started working for my yes, I used to work for a public school in Italy. And so my summer, oh, there we go, Nancy. What was your best holiday? That's fine, yeah. Um, so I had long breaks. So for the summer, we would close. I, mean, I would be on holiday for three, sometimes like three and a half months, actually. Wow. Uh, so, I mean, it was, wasn't the best because I, I didn't get paid for those months. So I had to really Ooh. plan my finances in advance. But I did have a lot of time. And so, um, so one time I actually traveled. So I also went to uh, New York. I went to Florida. Then I traveled to Ecuador and Brazil. So it's like I went everywhere yeah. that one summer. <laughs> and so I think that's what made it so, so special, just seeing different places and, uh, you know, kind of family, friends. It was like a, a nice mix. Nice mix, yeah. Days. Very cool. Very cool. All right. And uh, okay, so we've got that's the that was the question, guys, for number one. Uh, can you tell us what you think? Uh, what what would be the question? How could we form the question for number two or even number three? Any of those ones there, guys? We want to know how do we ask these ones? So as you can see along the bottom there, when you're making a question, we think question word, auxiliary verb, subject, and then the verb of the question. Ah, that's a banner. First time I see that. That's cool. Yeah. I just literally, uh, the side now. Yeah. Seth, um, Seth introduced that literally to me like just in the previous one. Oh, so I'm like, I'm going to yeah. try it too. <laughs> it's funny because the, the comments are coming. Uh, it's a little bit of a different kind of shape, right? Now that we like. Yeah. Used it, to be like more in the middle, more rounded. Yeah. yeah. Strange one. I don't know what yeah. happened. It must, it must be the way that uh, it changes. But Yeah. Uh, all you right, know. guys. So while you're maybe thinking or writing the question, we're going to maybe move, uh, move on here just for number two. So, Kyle, mm -hmm. how would you ask that question? Ooh. 
Uh, so the last time you traveled, I guess when we're talking about time, we need to use the question word uh, when. Mm -hmm. So it would be when was the last time you traveled? I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have like different ways to do it. This is a perfect one. Yeah. When was the last time you traveled? And so, of course, we already discussed this before, mm -hmm. um, our yeah. last holiday. Uh, next holiday, well, that's that's yeah. pending. Uh, yeah, pending. It's like, we <laughs> still don't know. It's uh, TBD. We are, yeah, to be, that, that's a great one. I think Italians probably can use that as well in Italian. So, to be defined, pending. Yeah. We still don't know. We can't exactly. make plans. Uh, let's mm -hmm. see Nancy here. When did you go last time you travel? Very close, uh, Nancy. Uh, you do have the quas form quite well there. I would just make some small changes. Um, maybe you could say, when did you last travel? Something like that. When did yeah. you last travel? Uh, or you could say, okay. not maybe not with when, but where did you go last time you traveled? Excellent. All right. I guess we can maybe move on to what do you think, Al? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Should we move on to the next slide? Um, sure. Is there any, any mean, other you question have... you want to tackle? Um, I mean, next holiday could be an interesting one, given that uh, we're talking about the future. future. Yep. So it would be an interesting thing to, to, to talk about the, the future one. So we've already talked about the past, guys. So what was your best holiday? Uh, when did you last travel? So for the next holiday, um, I guess we're, uh, we're asking about the future. So we need to change this, uh, the, the structure of the verb, uh, the question to be talking about the future tense. Uh, so for next holiday, uh, we can use a couple of different tenses, mm -hmm. a couple of different, uh, we have a few different options, I guess. Ah, we have Flavio who just tried a question here. When, very close, Flavio, excellent. Will is a good future we can use here. Mm -hmm. uh, I said, when will it be your next holiday? Just change the order a little bit, uh, Flavio. It's best to say, when will your next holiday be? Because then we're using quasv. When is the question. Will is the auxiliary. Your next holiday is the subject and B is the verb. So when mm -hmm. will your next holiday be? Good. And I believe uh, Flavio is actually um, Jessica, if I remember correctly. I think it might be a Jessica using <laughs> Flavio. Ah, account. Jessica, okay. <laughs> Where would you go? Uh, that works as well. We can use would. It's, it's a little bit less of a future form, but more of just a conditional, but that works fine, Nancy, yeah. Where would you go for where your next you holiday? Go? Yeah, where would you like to go also works, good. Mm -hmm. And uh, Andrea has another one, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? That's another future. Very good, very good. So good examples, guys, and uh, I think you're using it, like all the, the different futures that we would use in English, which are basically will, going to, plus uh, infinitive, mm -hmm. and, oh, wait, I cannot use the plus, I'm not going to make this confusing. So I'm going to do will, going to, plus infinitive, and we have the present continuous. Nice. These are the three futures we can use. Uh, do you guys know the difference? So, oh, how do I decide which future to use? I have my cone ready. Ah, you got the cone, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like this close to drawing one on, uh, on paint earlier. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Great, so we'll just see um, if you guys know this. Because while like the, the, the differences between these guys are very, very important um, because they obviously 
uh, talk about different uh, kind of things. So um, different ideas, I guess you could say. Um, in English, the two that you can kind of use interchangeably are will and going to. However, grammatically, if we wanted to be correct, there is, of course, the differences that we know. Yeah, I know from experience working with uh, Italian students. Uh, oh, and they have perfect answer there. Will is for spontaneous yeah. decisions. Yes. Um, I know a lot of the times in school, you learn that if you want to use the future, use will, 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 will. Uh, <laughs> I would actually say, um, I don't know about you, Kyle, if, if it's the same in Ireland, but I would say will is actually probably the least common when you're talking about future. Because it's more of a reaction, uh, as, as Andrea just said here. Uh, it's a decision that you make in the moment about the future. Um, you know, if, I don't know, maybe you recommend me a good pizzeria, and I just react to that. Oh, great. And I we all go this weekend. Absolutely. All right. Then we have going to, we use for prediction or intention. Wonderful. So this nice. is when, see, the decision is not made in this moment. I made it before. So it's more of like a mm -hmm. plan that is not so defined. It's a serious intention, but I don't know all the details yet. And finally, Andrea, we use the present continuous for a, a plan. Uh, yes, for a specific plan with all the details. Good. Yeah. Very nice, guys. So yeah. to keep it simple, because um, I know when you're talking to someone, you don't really have the time to right, sit there. Oh, is this a decision that I am making in this moment or something? Like that. So keep, <laughs> I usually tell my students to think in terms of percentage of probability. Will, eh, I mean, you're, you're thinking about it now. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Uh, it's quite spontaneous. So let's say that will is when you're 60% sure. Maybe. See, uh, I still don't know uh, my dinner plans for after this lesson. Maybe I'll make some pasta. Mm -hmm. What about you, Kyle? Do you have any plans for dinner? Uh, I don't have any plans for dinner. So yeah, maybe I'll um, go out and buy a pizza. Maybe I'll stay in and uh, make some pasta. It's probably a better idea to stay in. <laughs> yeah, I think all the restaurants are closed. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So there you go, guys. Will is for maybe situations. Um, if it's a little stronger, so you have a serious intention, but you still haven't made specific plans, that's when we use going to. Plus mm -hmm. verb. Yeah. Okay, so for instance, um, I know that this weekend I'm going to clean my house. Mm. Maybe I will clean on Saturday. Maybe I'll clean it on Sunday. But definitely I'm going to clean it this weekend. I just don't know exactly when that's going Maybe. to. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, do you have any any plans, Kyle, for the next few days that are not so specific yet? So uh, in the next few days, I'm going to uh, contact my family to tell them that uh, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. But you don't have a specific day yet. No, haven't decided yet. I just Great. know that in the in the next few days, I'm going to do it. And it's actually worth mentioning that I'm going to. Often in um, conversation, uh, when we use it, and as, as most, of, uh, most of you guys watching probably know at this stage, when English speakers use these types of phrases, often the words kind of meld together and <laughs> become one. So going to, often when you hear it being used by an English speaker, will be gonna, exactly. So not I'm going to contact, I'm going to contact or I'm going to clean my, my apartment this weekend. Yeah. In fact, it's, it feels very forced when I say going to. Sometimes when I'm teaching, yeah. I do it, you know, to make sure the students understand, but it definitely doesn't feel natural to say going to. Yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to do, I'm going to eat. For yeah, sure. Exactly. Feels okay. more natural. And then, Nancy, we'll get to your question in just a second, uh, just to give you guys the last one, uh, which is the present continuous. This is what I always use it for, um, as uh, Andrea said before, 
when my plans are complete, they are confirmed. Uh, so that's when we use present continuous. Um, let's yep. see. I don't. I guess I don't. Well, actually, I do. Uh, tomorrow, I am working. Uh, I'm doing a webinar at 5 p.m. Hey, nice. One hundred percent. Me too. <laughs> there you go. And what time are you finishing uh, work tonight, Carl? So I am finishing work tonight at 9 p.m. or at 10 to 9, I think. Great. Yeah, so now these guys, you guys have some nice questions here in the future already. Uh, here, Carl, let me ask you this first one from, from uh, wait, the account was Flavio, but Jessica was maybe the... the yeah. <laughs> so how many countries will you visit in your next holiday, Carl? Hmm, okay. So on my next holiday, uh, I think I'll visit mm, two countries. Exactly. So see, guys, 60%, maybe. He's not completely sure yet. Um, yeah, I can answer Nancy's questions. How many yeah. countries are you visiting this year? Now, I actually don't have any concrete plans at the moment, Nancy. Uh, so I don't know how many countries I'm visiting this year. Maybe I'll visit one new country. Maybe. One new country. Good. Yeah. Viviana also has a good example. I am working from my home. Okay, specific plan. Or it can also be something right now if you're using it in the present. Nicely done, guys. Nicely Very done. good. So excellent use of the question formation there. Okay. Is everything clear for the different futures? If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. Okay, so as we said, going to for future intentions. So here, let, let's uh, do a few examples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so number so, one there is a trip to Hawaii. Mm. Very lucky. <laughs> uh, we have another question from Viviana. Um, how many countries are you going to visit this summer during your California tour? Uh, yes, just uh, would just correct. Maybe it was a little typo there, uh, Viviana. Summer with an E. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's a really good question, and I I don't even know if I'm going to California this summer. Maybe I will. Uh, yeah. If I go to California this summer, um, I will visit. I uh, maybe not countries, but towns. Um, I will oh, visit yeah. um, maybe five towns. Uh, that's where most of my friends live. So maybe I will visit around five towns. Nice. Because again, countries are what? The nations. It's like America, USA, sorry, Mexico, Canada. So if you're in California, California is uh, the state, right? So you're <laughs> you're not going to be visiting different countries in okay, California. Yeah, you know, cities or towns. Yeah, yeah exactly. Nice. Uh, yep, so Katerina, uh, I'm going to go uh, to Japan, and I've never been there, but I would like to go, yes. Yeah, the difference between gone and been, do you want to tell them, Carl, what the difference yeah. is? Yeah, so, been and gone, as we know, guys, is the past participle, well, they're both past participles uh, for uh, the verb to be. Uh, but, and the way that I kind of uh, try to remember it is to think of it like a, a plane ticket. So uh, gone is a, a one-way ticket. So you're gone, you have not returned yet. So gone is one way, whereas been is a return ticket. And so you've been, you've gone, and you've come back. That's right. And that's why it's much more common to ask, have you been? Because if I'm talking to you, and you are in the same place as me, clearly you returned. That's why I would say, have you ever been to Japan? You're here right now. So if you did go, you returned. Great. Now, uh, let's do some future intentions. For example, so Kahal, imagine that you are going to Hawaii. So you're having a trip to Hawaii. What are you going to do to prepare for your trip? Okay, so to prepare for my trip to Hawaii, uh, I am going to buy a big floral shirt. <laughs> ah, there you go, yes. Floral shirt, wonderful. That's my idea, all right. 
Uh, what about you? What would you do uh, for your trip to Hawaii, Tiago? For my trip to Hawaii, um, I am going to, let's see. Oh, I'm going to pack a lot of sunscreen because mm. I burn very easily. I am a bad Brazilian in that sense. I don't tan <laughs> very well. Got all the, all the Mediterranean blood, but it just doesn't work. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go, Adamo. I'm gonna try. Very nice. I'm gonna try to trip uh, with my mind in these two weeks. <laughs> um, I don't know why he's gonna do a trip with his mind in these two. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean, but uh, careful with trip as a verb. Um, it usually means on, to know. consume psychedelics. Uh, is the meaning of to trip. Uh, so to go on a trip would probably be. Well, I'm not sure what you mean. Right Ooh, I'm tripping. Yeah. <laughs> if you go on a trip, there you go. Um, that's All it. Right. And what about you so, guys? We have a lot of examples. Let's imagine the beach. I know Italians mm -hmm. love to go to the beach. Uh, oh, so yeah. this August, if everything is okay with the virus. Uh, what are you going to do to prepare for your trip to the beach? Ooh. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because I actually, I, I should do the same as you. You should uh, buy some sunscreen. Because uh, my, last year I went to Verona. I made the mistake of sunscreen a couple of hours back and, and I was very red. <laughs> Just from walking around? Just literally from walking around. Now, we did stop uh, and we we jumped into the water for a while. So maybe that was probably the reason why. <laughs> yeah. No, see, like I have to do it very gradually, then I'm able to tan, but it's got to be, you know, maximum like an hour a day for the first few days. Um, yeah. All right, Katerina, you have a question for us. Uh, rent refers to a payment of a house, and if I don't pay, I must, you must leave. Um, uh, yes, exactly. Ah, yeah, because we have the verb to, to rent on top here. Sure. Mm. Exactly. Very good, Katerina. So uh, when you so rent is the money you pay to live in a house that is not yours. And if you don't pay your rent, you have to leave. Go out uh, is something more like a social thing that you do. Um, go out with friends. You go for drinks. That's to go out. Okay, so it's kind of like to socialize outside the house. And to leave is to physically... Um, exit, I guess. Basically, exit, yes, exactly. Thank you. I guess so. In this case, because we're using rent as a verb, to rent something uh, is to pay money so that you may use it uh, for a period of time. Yeah, I guess like number six, like a camper. You can rent a camper for, exactly. a, for a couple of weeks so you can travel. Uh, Nancy has an example for us there. I'm going to swim in the sea. Exactly. Ah, so that's your nice. intention. Right? And that's a perfect example as well, Nancy. Going to, because I mean, will is maybe. If you use I'm swimming in the sea, it's too precise. You probably don't have that in your in your diary, right? Like at seven, <laughs> I'm swimming. So good. I'm going to swim. <laughs> Unless you're very neurotic, in which case you're totally fine. You can absolutely, if you have everything planned down to the to the minute, absolutely go for it. But uh, <laughs> not everyone is uh, so organized. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right. Well, if you guys have any other ideas about plans for this summer, next, I mean, it doesn't have to be this summer. You can talk about this to, tonight, tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Leave us a comment so we can tell you if you're using it all correctly. Yeah. Um, all right. So here we have some different places. Oh, nice. So choose one, guys. Choose one destination. Imagine that you're traveling there. 
what are you going to do? What are your intentions? Uh, do you want to give him an example, Kyle, for like one of these cities? If you imagine sure. that you're going on holiday to one of them. Yeah. Oh my God, I would love, I'm definitely, like uh, Adamo was saying, I'm going to take a trip in my mind here uh, and uh, <laughs> go to one of these places. Uh, all right, uh, maybe for picture C, uh, when, I, when, I visit, when, I, when I visit Paris, I'm going to uh, visit the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, interesting uh, pronunciation there, because uh, in English we say Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Uh, it almost sounds like an iPhone. Yeah. Like, uh, Eiffel. Eiffel, iPhone. Nice. Yeah, it's pronounced it kind of like the German way. Mm. We are the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so you're going to visit the Eiffel Tower. Anything else, Kyle, that you're going to do in Paris? Or maybe in Paris? Well... I think I'll explore the city. Um, I, I'll explore some of the more unknown places. Um, maybe I'll take uh, a tour around some museums. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Wonderful. Ah. A few examples here. So Vijana saying, I'm going to go to Japan. Excellent. It's an intention and you don't know exactly when. Mm -hmm. Great. Nancy, my relatives and I are going to rent a car for some days. Wonderful. Another intention. And Katerina, I'm going to go out with my friends uh, when, um, you can even keep it simple, Katerina, when it is possible when it's possible just use it in the present it works perfectly okay and viviana uh, i am going to explore the landscape and the city yes great job great job guys yeah any other examples just let us know so in the meantime, let's just move on. Okay. So we talked can a little bit about the city. Yeah, now I can hear you now. Yeah, you froze for a little bit. Now you're back. <laughs> um, so here we have different places to stay. See, we're going to stay. Uh, so we can say stay, to sleep. Uh, you can also, of course, say to rent. You can rent an apartment maybe for a holiday as well. Let's see. Andrea, uh, but if I not have intention of concrete idea, in this case, I use a simple future or not. Yes, exactly, Andrea. See, if you don't know for sure, that's, um, for example, like Cajal, uh, he said about going to, uh, to Paris. He said he's going to visit the Eiffel Tower because that's an intention. And then it says, and then maybe he will visit some of the, like some of the unknown parts of the city, the, the less common parts of the city, because that one is a maybe. So it's not quite an intention. Okay, mm. Katerina, uh, she's going to fly to Dublin. Yeah, good. Oh, hey, going to Dublin. <laughs> there you go. You don't know exactly when yet, right, Katerina? But it is an intention. Nancy saying we're going to explore uh, Spain. So in this case, you don't need two because you don't have movement. You are there and you are exploring. So we're going to explore Spain this year. Um, and if it's only my idea. Yes, Andrea. So again, Will, yeah, he would use it. It's just an, a general idea. It's not concrete. Okay. Hi, Marika. Welcome. Welcome to our webinar. Okay, wonderful. So, all right, here we have some different places we can stay. Um, so your A, this of course would be like a beach house, I would say. Ideal, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Have you ever stayed in a beach house, Carl, on holiday? I've never stayed in a beach house, um, but I've stayed in a, in a house very, very close to the sea. Um, but the trip that I went to the south of Ireland we stayed in a, in a house that was very, very close to the water. So it's almost a beach house, even though Ireland does not have very many beaches. 
Oh, really nice. Yeah, I've, I've never stayed at a, at a proper beach house either. Not like that. That is, you know, as soon yeah. as you're out, you have the sand. I'd love yeah. to one day. Uh, yeah, okay, what about B? What do we have going on here, B? Hmm. There's a specific vocabulary here for this uh, piece of equipment. Very important. Very important if you're going to be doing this activity. Ah, Nancy got it. So we're going to sleep in a tent in Africa. There you go. Nice. Exactly, a tent. So good. Um, what about camping? Have you ever been camping before? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, th I think growing up in Ireland, it's impossible to not go camping. <laughs> uh, I, know that you... I heard that in, uh, in Scotland, you can basically camp anywhere. Uh, there aren't so many restrictions. Is it the same in Ireland? Uh, I think so, yeah. Now, there are some like um, specific parks and such that you're not allowed to do that, but they have plenty of signage uh, around the place uh, uh, that, that let you know. Yeah, because I think um, here yeah. it's the other way around. It's like most places you cannot camp, uh, so you have to go to a specific yeah. campsite. Yeah. If you what want. would you call the uh, vehicle? You know the vehicle that, um, that you use? Say, for example, so we have a tent here, so this is yeah. like... Uh, when you're when you're like staying on the ground, so, mm -hmm. but say if you're like driving around and you're going on a road trip around, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I know there are like different words for it. Uh, personally, I say an RV. RV. Okay. RV is like a recreational vehicle. Ah, okay. Recreational vehicle. Um, RV. Uh, but then it depends. Cause see, if you if it's like your house, if you live in it, then I guess I call that a trailer. Yeah. Well, even though they're the same thing, uh, it depends on like the usage, I suppose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, trailer. I know sometimes it's it's called like a mobile home. Mobile uh, home or camper. Camper, camper van. I know sometimes in, in Ireland it's called a camper van or a caravan. Oh, yeah, exactly. So just a, just an interesting one I thought to be. Great. Uh, I do and then, of course... Um, See here, we've got kind of this one's fairly simple. It's pretty international. Mm -hmm. A hotel. Just careful with pronunciations. So not hotel, a hotel. Um, D, I guess what it's like a like an apartment or an Airbnb of some sort. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. And then we got a last very nice one. looking Airbnb. Yeah. And then how do we pronounce that last one, Carl? <laughs> last one. We pronounce cow. So the pronunciation, yeah, I know the way it's spelled with a C-A-S-T-L-E. However, uh, the T, again, another T that's not pronounced. <laughs> so no T in Chago, no T in Call no tea in castle. <laughs> castle. Exactly. Castle. Uh, Adamo, let's see. I'm going to sleep uh, in a campsite in Tanzania to hear lions roaring from the tent. Nice. Nice wow. imagery there. Cool. Um, and then, Nancy, we're going to book a house near the beach. Fantastic. Very good. All right, guys. So, here, let's. Um, I like these ideas. We've got a few more minutes left, uh, so let's uh, try to combine all of them now. So think about a holiday that you have planned for the future or just invent one if you don't have one. Uh, and let's try to use the three different futures to talk a bit about your plans, some of the things that maybe you will do, some of the things that are confirmed, intentions. Uh, so we can, if you want, you can like write a bit of a longer comment um, with all these details. And Katarina, I'm going to rent a beach house. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, do you have uh, any plans, Kyle, for this summer? So for this summer, uh, actually, yes. So I am going to... Uh, I'm, so I'm going to use the present continuous for this one because I have a fixed plan. Uh, so I'm returning to Ireland uh, in summer because I'm going to a concert uh, on the 20th of June. Uh, and so I think I'll uh, stay for a few days um, 
but I haven't decided yet what is the what I think what I what I will do. Uh, but I'm definitely going to uh, visit my friends. I'm going to see uh, some people I have not seen for a while. <laughs> And so those are my plans for the summer. What about you? Wonderful. Uh, yeah, I don't have such concrete plans yet, uh, but it's at some point in August, um, I'm going to go to the beach somewhere. Uh, I've been looking at a few options, so either uh, to Greece, Portugal, or Spain. Uh, wow. So I'm going to go with my partner, but we, we haven't booked anything yet, so it's uh, an intention. But maybe we'll go to one of those three countries because they look like the kind of the, the cheaper options as well. Uh, then one thing that is confirmed for sure later in the summer, but this is actually after we start working again. I'm taking an extra weekend because I'm going to uh, a music festival outside Amsterdam that I went last year as well. So I want to go back this year. So I'm going nice. to a music festival. Uh, it's like the very last weekend of August. And mm -hmm. I'm staying there for three days. I'm going to be sleeping in a tent for sure for about three days. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's how, how my plans at the moment. I haven't right. planned much. Uh, wait, wait to yeah. that group again. <laughs> What's that? I can't wait to see that famous or infamous group chat uh, again, you know? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Andrea. Yeah. It is impossible not to pronounce the T in, in the castle. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, we, don't, we don't pronounce it, yeah. We don't pronounce it. It's very you. difficult. It is very it difficult. It would be impossible to pronounce it. Castle, castle. Like, it's yeah. hard to even say it. Yeah. So the castle. Um, mm -hmm. What about you guys? Do you have any other plans? Maybe you guys are typing. I know we asked you guys for a longer answer, so. Mm -hmm. There is always a little bit of a delay as well with the chat. So we kind of, we receive the messages maybe a couple of seconds after they've written. Yeah. All right. But any of these, have you ever, actually, have you ever stayed in a, in a castle before, Thiago? I've never stayed in one. I visited a few, uh, but I haven't. Though I keep seeing um, deals online for there are a lot of castles in Italy that mm. you can actually kind of spend the night for like 30 or 40 euros. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, I usually use uh, Holiday Pirates. Uh, it has okay. Pirati, Pirati in Viaggio. Uh, and they have a lot of deals for castles and things like that. So it would be cool. Cool. Yeah, actually, a absolutely cool. Nights ago, yeah. I think the castle. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, now that I think of it, Katerina is uh, mm -hmm. giving us an example saying, Tonight I'm going to watch a film, but I still don't know which one. Yeah, it's better to say, I still don't know. I still don't know which one. Mm -hmm. Nancy, maybe, uh, Nancy, she maybe will visit, she will go to visit Japan. That's also fine. Nice, very good. Everybody seems to be using the, the futures very well. Yep. Yeah, so one recommendation we can give you guys if you just want to practice this a little bit is uh, make this a daily exercise. Um, I know that these days it's been hard to maybe plan your week the way that you usually plan them. Uh, but just have a look at your planner, your diary, um, see what you have. And then just kind of try to talk to yourself and give some examples. So, okay, so today I am have, I'm having a meeting from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. After the meeting, I'm going to write an email to my manager uh, to summarize the points of the meeting. And then after that, I am going to work on the project that I am working on at the moment. Maybe I will go to lunch with my colleagues at one o'clock and we maybe we will go to that Japanese restaurant that just opened. So you can just look at your plan or just completely invent a day uh, and just use a different futures like that. Yeah, absolutely. Like little bits of practice every day. It's it's incredible how 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 far it goes, guys. Yeah. Even 15, 20 minutes, that's all it takes. Yeah, and even through these webinars, see, if you want to join a webinar, even if we're not necessarily talking about the future like we are today, you can always use the future. 
And that way, if you make any mistakes, we can correct you guys. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, guys. So uh, we hope this was helpful. Um, so you get the differences now. We do have another example from Katerina. Uh, I will go, so okay, here we have the movement. So I will go to a grocery store tomorrow. Yeah, maybe, maybe you'll go to a grocery store. And Andrea, when I decide that I will not do things in the future. What do you mean exactly, Andrea? Can you clarify the question? Hmm. Ah, wait, I use not going to. Yeah, you can use not going to. See, if it's a decision that you made before this moment, you can say, yeah. For example, tomorrow, I'm not going to leave my house. See, I made this decision before. I'm not going to leave my house tomorrow. But if I decide now, I can still use will. Tomorrow, I won't. Won't is the negative rule. I won't leave the house. So it depends on when you're making the decision. Mm -hmm. That's why we say will is kind of like a future, but it's also like a present. It's like a decision about the future, more so than an actual future. Um, yeah, Katerina, exactly. Two and two a grocery store. Yes. All right, guys. Um, so that's it for today. This is our last webinar uh, as well. Uh, but tomorrow we're back at 10 a.m., right? That's when we start them. We're back at 10 a.m. with more at every hour. So there's one more here. I'm going to shine like a star in these two <laughs> weeks. Yes, you are, Adamo. That's yes. the story. Excellent. <laughs> oh my God. I want to be with this guy when he shines like a star. I want to, yeah. I want to experience that. <laughs> Bask in your, in your light. Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. So thank you for joining. Thanks for all the comments, participation, the questions. Uh, it really seems like you guys got a, a good grasp of this, um, of this language. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Kyle, anything else you want to add before we conclude? No, I mean, man, you covered it absolutely. I was going to make the point about um, about practicing and kind of getting get more and more use out of these, yeah, even if it's not a focus activity based on that, uh, on the futures. Um, but yeah, guys, it really, really helps us as well when you guys get involved uh, in the focus activities and these webinars because that way we can uh, kind of tailor them to what you guys need. Uh, we can help you with like specific examples as well. But no, other than that, uh, it was great. Uh, thank you so much. And I hope you awesome. guys have a nice evening. Thank you guys. Have a nice evening and enjoy your dinners. Probably a lot of you are having dinner now. I still have to decide <laughs> mine. So we'll Me see. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys.